You join us today at Centro Stile, the design center at Lamborghini, with Mitya Borket, the head of Lamborghini. Ciao, Mitya. hi, welcome. Ciao. Thank welcome you for having everyone. us. Thank you. So we're sitting here amidst these beautiful machines. The one common factor between the Lamorca and the Rivialto is the Y-shaped headlight. So what is the significance of the Y-shape? The, you know, the, the roots of the Y-shape is coming from the hexagon. Because Lamborghini um, in, the, in the late 60s, um, the, the hexagon was the element of the future, you know, the mankind flying to the moon, the architecture and so on. And the concept cars or cars uh, of Lamborghini of the 60s, there's a mesh on the Miura on the rear that was using the hexagon, for example, or the Lamborghini Marzal was the, the, the door was designed like a hexagon, the interior like a hexagon. That is the starting point for the hexagon. And when you cut the hexagon in half, you find the Y shape. So it became then uh, in the uh, after the 2000s, also it became a design signature. There was the Y shape on the Aventador, for example. So it was clear uh, when I joined Lamborghini that this Y shape is a, is a very strong signature. So we've placed it in the Terz Millennio, we've placed it in the Rebuelto, and now also, of course, in the LMDH. That's the story. So you mentioned the Terz Millennio, which is an EV concept. Um, obviously, the picking up cues from heritage is very important in all your cars. Where does that heritage fit in as you go forward into like an EV future? I mean, I even need to say we are always looking into the future. No, I, one of my favorite sentences of our CEO and chairman Stefan Winkelmann is: "The mirrors are small and the windshield is is big." So we are looking ahead. So we want to inspire. We want to create spaceships. We want to. We are here to create really the future. So, uh, of course, looking uh, into our iconic uh, heritage cars, uh, of course, I take, for example, the shark nose, um, I take uh, some elements, but again, the measure for us is always to look ahead to, into the future, because uh, my philosophy is expect the unexpected, so whatever we design, uh, you always have a different package, you have always a different layout for the radiators that is d then driving to you into a, a different design direction. So I want to have always something unexpected, something new, something that is always following um, our design DNA with the silhouette line. Uh, of course, when you see the Revuelto, any Lamborghini front, you, you have this cabin that is very uh, hexagonal, strong inclination of the windows. The, this is for me the main measure. But then every car, the LM, the H car, the Revo Alto, whatever we do, has to follow this um, design DNA, but create his own character. And I mean, your designs are incredibly striking, but they look loud, meaning that the way these cars sound today uh, is in keeping with how they look. Um, do you think going forward, when you lose that sound signature in an EV, you can still sort of maintain that DNA of Lamborghini? For sure, we are working on uh, emotional performance. Uh, design is part of it, and vibration, sound, goose bumping is part of you know why you want to have a Lamborghini. So be sure we have uh, here really strong ideas in the future. But as a designer, I can tell you uh, that our cars, for sure, especially also the Revuelto, I saw it yesterday driving in electrical mode. We have also a cool yeah. sound to it, yeah. by the way. Um, our cars are also, you know, the impression that you have, also when you see our cars uh, just by the pure uh, design, it's so striking and people are like, oh, there's a Lamborghini. Yeah, so yeah. it is all of this. And uh, again, I will not now talk about the details. Be sure that w if a company is facing the future, then it will be always Lamborghini. Yeah. Uh, with the Revuelto, what was the, the biggest challenge in design? Because you had to fit in the electrical motor and uh, a lot of the hybrid sort of powertrain. Was, was the packaging the hardest part? Yes. For me, I mean, the Revuelto was, uh, I mean, I, I'm here now since seven years and we created so many nice cars. Uh, but uh, to create the Revuelto was really taking a white paper and then, you know, starting from scratch, speaking with the engineers and creating the new generation. So. Everything is new. So the wheelbase is new. The, the, the wheel dimension is new. All the, all the packaging is new. 
Uh, what I knew from the first moment is that we will have this V12 uh, hybrid powertrain. So I wanted to make it as the as the core of the uh, as the heart of the design. So we we took this uh, starting point. All the monocoque, all the lines are embracing this uh, powertrain. Uh, but then again, it was the time to find really iconic uh, design elements uh, because for me it's always important. You see the Rebo Alto in front view, in side view, in rear view, and uh, all of these views are super iconic. So in the front, you see it's dominated by the Y shape uh, of the of the DRL. In the body side, of course, it's a mid-engine car, uh, and you have these blades, for example, the air intake area on the on the rear, taking a bit inspiration on Diablo, and especially the rear view with the hexagon exhaust pipe with the flanked by the Y shape, it's something you will never forget. Yeah, so that's um, my aim. Uh, we want to create cars. You see them once and then you will never forget them. And this is uh, the, the, the magic about our design, I think. So one of my favorite parts of a lot of your cars is the firing order of the cylinders, uh, uh, the plaque at the back. So you retain that with the V12 in the, in the Revuelto. Uh, did you ever consider showcasing some of the electrification technology also in the same way? I, I like the idea. I mean, for me, uh, again, the, you know, we are using technology uh, to make it also visible. I mean, uh, again, here, Tats Millennium is a good example because we were kind of showcasing uh, also the batteries uh, on, 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 on the rear of the car again. For us, uh, we are dressing really a sexy package. We are dressing uh, fantastic technology. So for me, again, the aim is uh, I want to create, uh, an, for example, an exterior design that is really proportionally compact. Uh, it is really, you know, with full of tension, uh, embracing uh, our technology. I remember quite well on my first days arriving in Lamborghini, I saw an Aventador. Uh, with the engine, you know, that was, you know, p uh, placed next to the car and I saw uh, this empty space and I thought, wow, this, that's a machine. Yeah, that's, uh, and, you know, I'm able to dress it and, uh, you know, it will always remain that uh, Lamborghini will create something really impressive and uh, mind blowing. And is there always a tussle between design and engineering? Like if you look at the Rivuelto, it's just, it's stunning and you've got these beautiful air intakes on the side. So does engineering come to you and say that, look, we need uh, intakes that are so big and we need X, Y, and Z, and then you have to fit that into the design? Or does the design come first and then the engineering considerations come after? In Lamborghini, we are a small family. So we are, uh, you, you, you have seen Sant Agata, we are so close. Uh, the design is very close with the aerodynamic department, with the race department. So we are working like this together. Uh, I do believe that I am a designer that is also understanding uh, pretty well the needs of the engineers and uh, I can also understand uh, sometimes uh, what is necessary uh, and then I'm implementing or then I'm creating an, uh, a design answer uh, and sometimes this is also very inspiring because uh, those challenges are creating also the opportunity to find something really cool in design. So again, for me, in the end of the day, uh, we need to find all together a perfect compromise. Compromise is for me nothing negative, is something positive. So because we are creating a car that is a machine that has to work on the track, it has to have performance. Uh, it would be not enough if it's just the design. So it has to be really a perfect super sports car. And final question, you mentioned that design is not just the cars that you, that you design, but also the lifestyle that you create for your customers. You're wearing a beautiful Lamborghini design, Roger Dubuis wristwatch. What's the craziest request that you've got from uh, from a, a customer to design something? I mean, for, from the customers, um, the cool projects are the one-off projects. Yeah? So we created in 2018 the Alston SC18. Then we did this by Car SC20. Uh, we just presented two cars, uh, the Authentica and the uh, uh, invincible cars. So these are the pinnacle moments, of course, of Lamborghini design, especially for us here in the design team, because we are working face to face, uh, really one to one with the customer, uh, you know, and you can realize a car sometimes within one year from the first idea to the to the final car that you are that you can drive. One of the most beautiful projects, I have to say, um, of course, is the collaboration with the team of Roger de Bouy, you know, 
uh, when we are talking about what is our next car and you know how they then imp can implement uh, uh, ideas, colors, and materials. But one of the most beautiful ones, and also as a as a statement, is the Technoma yacht. Uh, you know, we created uh, also here again. Uh, with the team of uh, Gian Marco of Technoma, uh, they, they, the designers came here. We as designers, we went there. So we were influencing each other. And uh, the outcome is this beautiful yacht, 20 meters long. And uh, I'm very proud because it's designed basically with the design DNA of Lamborghini. When you, when you jump on board, uh, you also the cabin feels like a Lamborghini. And um, it's a perfect example of this creation of a of a design lifestyle you know where you can dress your personal life uh, as lamborghini well thank you again for having us and thank you for creating such beautiful inspirational design we will continue this thank you so much thank, thank you. you thank you bye